everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got an unboxing for you. Maybe not strict unboxing, reveal. Reveal and share with a bit of unwrapping. Um, anyway, it is in this box. This is a very rare, so I'm told, Hermes item. Then it's small, but very important. So if you are into luxury goods, in particular handbags and luxury SLGs, then would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification icon, and then you'll be uh, notified whenever I upload a video. So I'm not gonna take a long time on this. This is gonna be quite a quick video, I think, depending how we go. But in here, we have an Hermes SLG. And it's something that I hadn't been really made aware of or thought about before until recently. Oh, firstly, what I was going to say though, before we get onto that, quick makeup diversion. Well, I'm not really, the light's not so great. Um, it's just natural light I'm using, but it feels a little bit too light, like I'm bleached out slightly, so apologies for that. I always try and use just natural light. Um, partly I'm lazy and don't set up the ring light and partly I just like when I'm, if I'm showing you something you to see what it really looks like as best as the camera can pick it up anyway code 8 beauty balm I'm using the shade N25 and I do really quite like it um, particularly you know not being the youngest person and being on lockdown and wanting more of a natural look at the moment and summer coming and you know wanting that whole glow up it's actually, it is actually a really nice product. It's it's light coverage, you can build it up though. And like I say, it's not a foundation, it's a beauty balm. Um, but it's it's pretty nice, it feels really nice when it goes on. Really breathable, really light. So, God, I sound like I'm doing a spot, not sponsored. Just, just genuinely quite like the product. So I'm wearing that. To go with that, I bought Code 8 bronzer and mine is in the shade Positana, oh. just like that, which is a nice, it's a really nice, it's got a slight shimmer to it without being glittery, uh, but it's a really nice sort of mid-toned bronzer, so I wouldn't recommend it, I'd go up a shade if you are quite fair, I would put myself as a, a medium complexion, sort of light to medium, um, medium to tan in the summer, I'd I do tan. I know I shouldn't, but I do. Even in England. Um, so yeah, Positana is the one that I've got, which is nice. And then, so we're going back to Hermes. We're a little segue in. I did pick up, what well, I bought online, the Hermes blusher. One of them anyway. I got mine in 23 Rose Blush. There you go. And it's just beautiful. I put a picture on my Instagram. So you can, I've used it slightly, but they've done it so that it mimics a silk twill in terms of the um, texture blush. Not sure you can see it there or not. Um, and it's just a. This is a really pretty colour. It's coming out not too bad. It's it's sort of a corally toned pink really um, but I just thought it was quite nice I didn't want anything that was too pink and they've got one called Apricote or something um, which I thought was a little bit too orange I was tempted by it um, so I just went for this was sort of in between the two and it's really pretty and I think ties in quite nicely with the lip enhancer that I got in row number 30 Rose Dette so pretty. This pink is just beautiful. It's basically like a tinted lip balm, basically. If it's a very expensive tinted lip balm, let's not lie. Um, with a bit of Hermes branding there. And it's just really, I think, really quite pretty on. Um, on camera, it's coming out maybe a slight bit more colour than it gives, but I thought at the moment, with wearing just masks in time you go anywhere, you don't want to ruin your mask with a whole load of lipstick and there's no point in really putting lipstick on 
unless you're then going to, you know, whip off the mask and be somewhere, that you need to look fabulous, um, which typically isn't what's happening. Then, um, quite a nice alternative, so you've got something on your lips that's nourishing and hydrating and moisturising, but at the same time is um, not going to ruin all your masks. So, I picked up that, anyway, I just literally got one of each. I know some people have been doing like buying all eight of these and all three of these, but we're not financially in that camp. And uh, I just treat, I treated myself to one of each. Right, back to the main event. I bought this pre-loved from a Facebook group. Now, it's not perfect. I did get this at a reduced price, so it's lower than retail, because it's not, I think because it's not perfect. Although that wasn't really advertised, but I bought myself this. And it has still got the uh, stick on the hardware. So here it is, and this is the Burn 4 key holder. So it's a key holder basically, and my it's in dual tone, and um, which is Rouge Cassac, I believe, and Rouge H. Um, now I do have the Garden Party 36 in Rouge H, so that will go nicely with that. Plus, I do love red. I have a red Prada bag, which I've done a whole thing on. And decided yesterday morning that I really, really love a red Birkin. Don't know what size, don't know what leather, and I'm not entirely sure which red. But something like this, like a pro what I call a proper red. Anyway, that's what this looks like. And it's fairly plain on the outside. You can see this is how it does up. I'm going to remove with you the plastic packaging. See, this I haven't done. The hardware protector I had not peeled off till I did it with you guys. So, yeah, good, because like I say, I think this has been in storage a little while. It's a quick polish up on my jumper. It's sold, you know, as new, so I don't think it's been necessarily used, but I don't think it's brand new, just get out of the boutique. There we go. How pretty is that? I love the burn design, and actually nearly bought a burn card holder but I found this a little bit fiddly on the card holder. On this, I find it a lot easier. So if we open it up, upside down, of course, here we have the four keys. This is in Epsom leather, both inside and out. So you've got, the, again, the Rouge H on the inside, which I thought was nice. It's in contrast with my Bastia, which is um, Cray on the inside and Rouge H on the outside. So we've got like a item inside with Rouge H. Sorry, waffling. And there is underneath, you will not be able to see it because I can't even see it with a naked eye. You can see it in different leathers but in Epsom you can't see it. But there is, believe it or not, under there, there is a code, date code, and then we've got Hermes Paris made in France, the branding there. So I got this as a change. Uh, basically, my husband said, you just bought it because it was Hermes and it was pretty. Pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah. I do really like it though. So I got that. Not to replace for place, but as an, as an alternative as a change. So the only other key holder that I use, which I've had for a number of years, which is, you know, I know you're not supposed to call it a key clay, but I know that's what a lot of people do call it. But my key hold up from Louis Vuitton in the monogram. I love this. I bought this to go in my leather bags so that the inside of my bag, particularly if they were leather, weren't going to get scratched by my keys. This has done me really well. Looking at it now, I don't know if the canvas has got a bit of wear on it, like a bit of colour discoloration on the main bit there, or not, or if it's supposed to be like that. Um, nowhere to the corners, used in day in, day out for years. Really good item. Unzip it, and then inside I have my very bulky car key. There. And a key fob for the alarm. And my door key. That's it. Not a whole load of keys. I have also got like a work locker key. But I don't tend to put it on this because I keep this personal. When I got this, I wasn't sure if it would fit all my keys or not. Um, like, in terms of, I knew it would fit my normal keys, but I didn't know if the car key would fit or not. But 
a lot of the time, particularly if we're going into London, I don't take the car. I don't need the car key. So anyway, that was that. In terms of size, that's the reason why I brought this along to show you, is you can see pretty similar. The Louis Vuitton is actually bigger, so if anyone that's, that's interested in this, if you can find one, good luck. I actually found one, which I'll put in the description box below, um, which is double the price I paid, but it has got some lizard on it, a bit of exotic, so you do pay extra. So that is slightly higher there, and length, you can see it's also slightly greater. Um, in terms of depth, if you, I'll show you the key, the business end, the key end. Depth, I'd say the Hermes is thicker, but then this fills out with the key anyway. So in actual fact, when I look at how it's naturally shaped, without me squidging it, how it's naturally shaped, it's fairly, yeah, it's pretty, pretty similar to be fair. It probably is it's slimmer at the zip end and then bulks out in the middle. And yes, this is slightly misshapen from years of use of having a car key in it, but that's how I've chosen to use it. So I'm going to remove, she says, she remembers how this thing works. I'm going to remove my car key and my other key from that and put them in here so you can see. So, the thing I like about it, I was thinking, I had, was looking um, back in August time, probably July, August time, I was looking at getting the Louis Vuitton 4 or 6 key holder. And I was looking at, the, again, the, either the monogram or an on front leather one. And why can't I do this? I did this the other day. And um, just never bit the bullet. And then this came up and I just did it instantly. And I think that's a, a test. Sometimes you just know when an item is for you. You know when it makes your heart sing. It's a little fiddly. It just takes a little bit of jiggery pokery. But you can see my car key does fit in. And it doesn't hang beneath the bottom, which is nice. And then I would probably put these on individually, but for now, just to show you, I'll just clip it in with the, yeah, that's not, yeah, it's too long then. I just clipped it in with the existing small ring that I've got. So you can see it's slightly lower than I would have. Does it do up? Hopefully. Yes. The other good thing I like about this, being the burn design, it hasn't, you know, not having a popper or a zipper, having just this design whereby this leather flap, it's probably a more technical term, sorry, we're going to call it leather flap, goes through the H hole, or slot, um, there's a degree of flexibility. So if you haven't got a car key in it and it's a lot smaller, you just can push it closer, you know, more, more push it closer it more closed and then just thread that through a little bit more so you can have it so it's quite adjustable which I like it looks a little bulky but not wildly different to how this was and again I could just take my car key out and it would be a lot slimmer but I thought I would show you Matt, what it looks like you know worst case scenario to the max and I just keep looking at it because I do think it's really pretty. Now mine isn't perfect. Mine has got this slight defect on it, which I've improved with the use of a cloth and a hairdryer. It has got this crease here. But it's not, I don't think that's super noticeable. Anyway, and I'll just show you without the car key what it's like just with a normal key, so you can see. So yeah, so you can see I've threaded it through a lot further. It's only ever gonna go as flat as that anyway, but you can see it's a lot less bulky without the car key. But, so you've, you, I just thought I would show you. I think as well that this, 
is a particularly, look at it, it's a particularly thick and chunky car key holder. Um, but anyway, it's what it is. Um, so yeah, that's that. That was all I was going to show you really. Like I say, I, I bought this pre-loved, but I did share it with my um, with one of my essays. And he was just like, it's beautiful, well done. They are super rare. So, you know, no animosity there whatsoever for me not buying it from him. But um, I did check with Bond Street, actually, and they didn't have any. And I also wanted to know how much they retailed for to know if I was paying a good price or not. One of the things I didn't want to do, um, I mainly buy all my Hermes new from Boutique. This is probably actually the only thing I have bought pre-loved from Hermes. And... I, uh, I I genuinely didn't know the price of this. Now, from the price that was stated, I thought, which was, uh, I'll share that with you, it's not a secret, I paid £450. And I'm looking at this now going, I paid £450 for a key holder, that seems extortionate. But when you look, when you look at the prices of Hermes wallets and small leather goods, it's not that bad. Um, but these retail for £820 in Epsom. They'll be more expensive if you're buying an exotic, but they're 820 just for Epsom leather, which this is. And I just thought it was really pretty. The, the, I wasn't sure when the opportunity would come up to buy one again. I've been thinking about changing this for a little while. I'll still keep it. I'm not going to get rid of this. It's a super handy SLG, you know. Mine's in great condition, but it is, you know, in used condition. You, can, you know, it's, it's slightly misshapen to the shape of the items I've used in it. But other than that, it's in full working order and it, there's nothing wrong with it. So I will keep it. But sometimes it's just nice to have an alternative. And, a, and like I say, a, a different style. I didn't want to buy something that was an alternative but the same. So I will give this a go. I'll see how I get on. And worst case scenario, when I don't get on, I will set it on. But um, yeah, my sales was super happy for me. I went, yeah, you did well with that. I think I did. And like I say, that, that little bit of damage in that corner bothers me a little bit because I'm not good with things not being perfect. Hence me buying most things new from boutiques. But I can live with it and I think it will also mean that I will relax a bit more. Plus I didn't pay £820 for it. Which I don't know if I would have done. I don't know. When it comes to Hermes I sometimes go a little crazy. So yeah, I'm going to go now because I'm waffling and I want to film another video. Do take care everybody. Any questions, let me know. Um, and like I say, I did find one online for sale that was showing us in stock, um, which I think is UK based. If anyone's worried about Brexit charges, which was at Naughty Pigeon's Nest in a blue colour. And it had a bit of exotic on it as well. So I'll put a link to that below. Obviously, the link will only work for as long as it's in stock. But I'll put it below anyway. That's it from me. I'll just looking at her because I think she's really pretty and I do love red. Yeah, take care, bye.